What's up guys, it's Doll Matter here, and today we're going to be reacting to another Lutheran satire video. So this one, we've got a sequel to the one we did yesterday. This is Horace Ruins Christmas 2. Uh, so I don't know if he's going to continue with, uh, you know, different things that are, you know, contributing factors to kind of some of the Christmas ceremonies, or, uh, you know, falsely attributed as contributing factors to Christmas ceremonies. Or if he's going to make some corrections based on the stuff that he said yesterday that wasn't true. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, link to the original video down below. Let's jump into it. Electric switcheroo. Well, thanks to all of you for coming to our Christmas Eve service. And remember, no matter who you are or what you believe, you're always welcome here. Not so fast, preacher man. Behold, it is I, uh. Horus, Egyptian god of the sun, and I have returned to remind all you Spatzelbrain Christians that- Wait, you're not preacher man. Where am I? Well, hello there. Welcome to First United Church of the Holy Gentrification. I'm Pastor the Holy Gentrification. How can I help you, friend? You can start by kneeling before your Lord Horus, because the day you claim to be the birth of your savior is really the birth of me. Yes, I know. And we're so happy that you're here to share your faith Faith heritage with us. Come again? Well, everybody knows that early Christians co-opted the sacred festivals of religious minorities in order to oppress them. Well, that's not quite true. And we think this is just tragic. So yeah, it had more to do with conversion. I, I can't remember the name of the actual term, um, but what you have happened to a lot of deities is they get, uh, oh, there, there's a term for this. They get demoted essentially to, um, I'm not sure what the exact term is. Uh, the, the, uh, euhemerism, I believe, is the term. Let me double check. I believe it's called euhemerism. Uh, interpretation of myths is traditional accounts of historical persons or events. Yeah, so you have a lot of euhemerism uh, that happens with, especially with, you know, uh, deities from, you know, the Roman pantheon, the Germanic pantheon, the Celtic pantheon, uh, where these people get basically turned from deities into, you know, historical great warriors and kings and stuff like that. Probably the most famous example of this, I believe it's in the Ecclesiastical History of England. Uh, I think that's the, the book it's in, where they have the lineage of the kings. Um, they have Adam, and then descended from Adam is Odin and Thor and all of these other people, because you have this kind of mixing of Christian elements with Germanic pagan elements, uh, yeah, basically kind of making the two fit together as a way to more easily convert the, you know, the Anglo-Saxon population. So on behalf of every Christian who has ever lived, please forgive us for this reckless act of cultural appropriation. Right. Uh, Horace accepts your apology. But <laughs> only if you disavow this foolish notion that this Jesus you worship is the virgin born son of God. Gladly. What? What? <laughs> Horace knows is taught countless times in both the Old and the New Testaments. Come on. God became a man. A virgin gave birth. These ideas are obvious examples of toxic masculinity infecting the church. And on behalf oh, of God. every Christian who has ever lived, we'd like to apologize for those things as well. Yeah, but if you were truly sorry, you would stop teaching that the silly god of yours created the earth in a mere six days. Already done. No, I mean you have to finally admit that all those doofy pants miracles in the Bible are foolish fantasies for figgy pudding pop heads. Way ahead of you. <laughs> <laughs> this teaching that salvation comes only through faith in Christ. Disavowed indeed. How can you disavow that? Even Horace knows that Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Let's try marriage. Horace will not forgive you until you are no longer teaching that marriage is a union between one man and one woman. Oh, we're already gender nondescript post sister. I don't even think... Maybe I'm wrong here because I don't know enough about the Egyptian religious system, but I'm pretty sure they had just what we would consider as standard marriages too, right? Just between one man and one woman. Maybe I'm wrong there. I don't know if they had... Did they have polygamy? Try by trans polyorganic multi-amorous affirming. Ah! 
what? Aren't you impressed with how inclusive we are? No, you Christian-scented, pagan-hearted beef jerky heads aren't including mm. me at all because you won't let me be celebrating the way I want to on this Christmas Day. I mean, Horus Day. You rang? I said Horus Day. Well, I never in all my life. Well, how do you want to celebrate Christmas, Horus? I want to celebrate it by destroying the face of actual Christians who believe in an actual Jesus, who was the actual virgin-born son of the actual God, who actually died and actually rose again to give actual salvation to actual sinners who actually needed it. Now, do you have anyone left here at this glorified MSNBC prayer circle you call a church who believes? <laughs> That. Excuse me, we have lots of people left who believe that. Here. We have one person left who believes that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I'm not even Christian. I, I I was raised Christian, but I, you know, don't really believe in the Bible. But it, it, the one thing that drives me nuts is these people, they... They want to be Christian, but, like, very clearly don't want to be Christian, right? Their political beliefs are far more important to them than their religious beliefs. So when the two conflict, the political beliefs always went out. I find that so irritating. I would much rather talk to a fundamentalist, as much as I disagree with them on so much of the stuff, than I, uh, like, uh, well, not, not so much about their religion, but about, I disagree with them on a lot about history. I actually think they have a great interpretation of their religion. I think they have the correct interpretation of their religion. I don't believe it's true, but I think they, they have an accurate interpretation of their religion. Um, but then I would deal with these people, because these people are just like, it's it's so disingenuous and dishonest. It's like, it, you, 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 you're not Christian. Pauline Horus is alone and Pauline does no one will let him through. Hey, cats, do y'all want to spend more time in God's Word, but your tight schedule doesn't permit you to sit down with your Bible? Do you sometimes find the Bible confusing? Well, then why don't you join Pastor Will Whedon for The Word of the Lord Endures Forever, a daily 15-minute verse-by-verse Bible study with the church past and present. You can listen and study anytime, anywhere, on your commute, at the gym, or even at the club, baby. Learn more at thewordendures.org. Merry Christmas, y'all. <laughs> Man. Studying at the club seems kind of uh, like something the progressive Christians would do. Have a Bible study at the club. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I, f uh, I, I find that shit so irritating. Like, again, I'm, I'm not even Christian, but it just, as somebody who was raised in the church, I just find it so irritating that these people, the, how disingenuous they are about the beliefs of Christianity. It's like they... It's almost like they've never read the Bible, right? They just, they have this Christian aesthetic, but everything about them is, um, and they're often accused of being pagan, but that's just completely delusional because, like, you, you, anyone who says that does not know much about paganism. Because European paganism is very much a, uh, a master and slave type ideology, but, like, being a master is good. It's, it's very similar to, like, a, a, a sort of, like, Nietzschean philosophy. Um, so, yeah, like, the, it, it's almost diametrically opposed to modern progressivism, like, traditional pagan beliefs. But regardless of that, it, it just irritates me that they, they have, like, they're, they're just progressives who have, like, this Christian skin suit. But anyway, let me know what you think below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.